I'm Danita. I am on the board of directors. Um, as you can see from my coat, I went to Olds College in Alberta for the racehorse groom program. And I graduated with honors from that. So today we're going to be taking care of Echo and we're going to be taking care of some of her main mess and mats. So yeah, since I forgot my detangling spray, what we're going to use is conditioner and water. This, the spray bottle and then conditioner cost me less than five dollars at the dollar store and it's quick and easy, simple. Just got to get your brain nozzle right and then start working. So I'm gonna start with her mane. Yes. I'm gonna try and saturate both sides. mix get it in as much as possible and especially because her forelock is a little messy that's she's okay epic <clears throat> she does she's always had epic bed head mm -hmm. so we're just gonna let that sit in her forelock for a bit let that do its magic so this is an Aust oster mane and tail brush I don't remember how much I got it for but it's my favorite. And I will brush. I'll start at the bottom because you don't want to start at the top and then try and pull your knots out because that just hurts, speaking from experience. Um, so you want to do, I usually do both top and bottom, especially on these really thick manes. I always do top and bottom because sometimes you'll miss knots that are on the bottom if you just go from the top. And I try and hold close to their neck when I'm pulling because then it hurts less. And if there's really bad knots, I will use my fingers to try and get it out so it's not as hard on my brush or the horse's neck. And if you do it in both directions, you can actually, you will actually get hay, straw, or stuff out versus if you just went the one direction. So it gets them a lot cleaner. Yes, Flea, it does. <laughs> so that's the hair I've gotten from this little piece. So a lot of times it's breakage within it. Um, sometimes you will pull weaker hairs normal because it happens with us too so there there's that one little piece I actually have a couple different home brushes tools in my bag of tricks so I got this wide comb I love it too for getting knots out burrs out I hate dealing with burrs and I don't want to cut it especially if they have a long mane or tail try and save as much as possible. So I use this. Another tool I have, it's a cheap, uh, the cheap version of a cheater blade. It's got a little razor in here to thin your mane and then you comb. I got my nice aluminum one. Had this for 10 years. Um, yeah, it also, you can also use it as a hoof pick in a quick pinch. But then my cheater blade, you can tell, it's got like that. These work really well for when I'm uh, pulling manes, cheating manes. I prefer the cheat method because it's less harsh on the horse. You're not pulling it out at the roots. It's just basically cutting it to the desired length you want. But I'm going to start on her uh, forelock with my nice thick comb 
because it's a little knotty. So this one I try to do as gentle as possible. So another really good thing about spring and shedding, so this is a really good time for us especially to help bond with some of the newbies um, that came over winter because they're so itchy. Do you ever go back and add more detangler? Sometimes I do, if I find that it's not saturated enough. Now with this stuff, does it help to get it up into the core of the mane to it, help with... It definitely does, especially if you've got, Hi. you see these knots here? Yeah. Get as much in there as you can, because it'll help the fiber, the hair, to uh, slip apart. Okay. That's why I'm kind of massaging it in too. Yeah. Does it help with... Um, all of the uh, dryness and everything up it, in the base of the mane? Yes. So I try and get as close to the crest of the mane as I can because then it will help with any breakage. It'll help with growth. It'll help with dryness down the she wants to strands. Brush her butt. <laughs> okay. So you guys can see how different it looks when it's brushed versus unbrushed. And I haven't even really gone from under for this yet. Man, that's long. Yeah, it goes to our knees. Wow. Yeah, at its longest point. She is such a pretty girl. Knees. All right, so in your opinion, how is this for detangler? So, in a pinch, it works. But I do prefer my mane and tail detangling spray. Mm -hmm. But, like I said, in a pinch, it's cheap and it works. Okay. Just maybe not as effective as the actual branded detanglers. Okay.
Is there any yeah. specific spot on the horse that you find gets um, knotted up the worst? So, knotted or rubbed, depending on their feed situation, is right here. Right. I know my mare, she had rubbed off probably a good portion about that one time. Mm -hmm. So I had to shave it all to uh, make it look a little nicer and not so dumb. But uh, it grew back even thicker though. So that is how I do my main 